and then Natron's hovering there, and then he just punishes it with like a back air or whatever he wanted at that point. Yeah, and honestly, the way I think Natron could have handled that, like we saw him trying to like stall at ledge by going low a lot of the time, uh, which is a smart thing to do to try to get rid of Arsene. But sometimes, but honestly, I think maybe even uh, just getting back to ledge like quickly is also a better option. Is can also be a good option, just because it gives the game it mixes up the gamer. Uh, in terms of timing for his ledge traps. Because if you notice that because he was trying to stall up for Arsene, it gave the gamer so much time uh, for him to position himself, especially at that roll distance, and be ready for those back airs. Um, and he did call them out uh, a lot of the time. And I feel like Natron just needed to find just needed to find a way to get at this man. We saw a lot of like Desperate Moves, like the Confusion, the Disable even, just yeah. to prevent him from approaching. Um, and honestly, like the last interaction that cost him the game was the fact that he was at 170, and he tried to shadow ball in the air. That I mean, was the big. That was the big downfall for was, him. It was really rough. Rough. Uh, I think before that, I think the adaptation almost had to be made before that because oh, and it looks like we are getting Lisa and Tonic. This is the number yep. one and number two seeds coming up uh, in the loser semis. Loser semis. Uh, Lisa. Specify. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I don't remember what their set count is. Waste has only been here for a few weeks. So, I know that uh, Waste and I know Waste has been more favorable uh, in uh, like in terms of seeding. Um, but that it's still first and second seed, right? Yeah. So either it, 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 a lot can change. Absolutely. Um, score. You need to change the scores. Oh, yep. Do that, and then it's loser's finals. Or loser's semis. Yep. <laughs> Pro controller. <laughs> Damn it, Natron. <laughs> you had pro your pro controller, controller connected. <laughs> I'm calling you out on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. Loser semis, we're gonna have the ink, the yellow, the yellow squid game. This is a squid game, right? <laughs> this is a Smash Bros. This is a squid game. Squid game. Squid game. Squid game. <laughs> squid game. I, I'm just getting to the point where I've heard too much about that, and now I'm starting to hate it. It's so good, though. I've, I've heard very good things about it, so I can't hit on it completely. Uh, all right. So, Tonic off to a solid start. Got Waysa all inked up. Waysa got the Leaven Sword on deck, however, back air. Oh. Yeah, right now, I f this kind of is going like how it is. It's like, Waysa needs to wait in order to get his Living Sword and actually really just challenge the air-to-airs from Tonic. Up throw up air, not quite gonna do it. And, whoa, okay, that was a rough edge guard, but he still holds advantage state here. It's only 6%, 9% from the 11. Nice. Oh, back throw. Oh, nice roll through. Waysa, barely living. Oh, wow, he actually Let's made the map. Mark fire. Ooh, good SDI out. I thought you I can't SDI out. I, I keep, like, literally different Robins tell me, like, can you SDI so, out? Can you SDI out or can you on, not? It depends on where you get hit in it. There, Tonic got, was, like, on the edge of it, so he was able to SDI okay, out pretty obviously. easily. Yeah. But if you get stuck, like, right in the center, like, if it's in you, you're just kind of screwed. You would have to SDI really, really, uh, really Oh, well. well, S-Mash? Yeah. Not quite going to do it. I it mean, that still gives him stage, though. Yeah, absolutely. Still good stuff. But in this case, Arc Fire, not going to find it. Arc Thunder will also miss his mark. Inked up from a jab. Yeah. Nice air on the fly. And Tonic is understanding, like, that he can't really challenge the Leaven Sword too well, except for maybe back air. Like, he kind of has to do it, like, a oh. bit, like, preemptively, and just, like, apl continue applying pressure on Wesa. Because, oh, nice down smash, actually. Yep. Thrown off again with four oh, yeah. fair and Waysa just stopped sleeping. And now, oh, okay. I'm surprised they were actually able to get out of that arc fire. It looked like it was right on their field, but they were able to get out of it. Regardless, now 122% arc thunder. Oh, okay, yep. sliding under that arc fire. Monik still holding on to his first stock while Waysa is sitting on their last. Now, Waysa gets rid of that first stock, but it's still quite the hill to climb, getting rid of an entire stock, and then another. 
while only having one of your own. Nair will send him back out. Well, tries to jump back those for Autry, but doesn't find it. Will find a back air, however, to rack up at least a little bit of percent. Back air, dash grab, up throw, Nair. Oh, wow, he actually oh, fell off the platform in order to get that Nair. And yep. I don't know. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, oh no tech splat. coming from Wesa. The splat causing Wesa to need the stage tech. And unfortunately, that for Wesa, that will be the first game going the way of Tonic. Solid showing from Tonic, honestly. Off to an early lead and then just kept the lead. Tonic just like applied and just dealt with the matchup correctly. Like he just didn't let Wesa charge his projectiles or draw arc fire at all. Like, and that's the thing about this matchup is like Ingwe is just such a small and nimble character. You, like Wesa has no time to actually think about. A really well around the projectiles, sliding under arc fire, sliding under L thunder, just. Good movement from Tonic to avoid that. Again, look at like that, he could just low profile this. that with his dash. Now, that was a little bit in the air, but point being is they still were able to just low profile underneath it. Hard fire out of shield, obviously very slow and only gonna find the shield, not gonna find any follow up after that. Crouch on the flat, trying to land with Nair, so not gonna find anything. Waiting, waiting, short hop, empty hop. But instead, Tonic is racking up more and more percent. Forward throw, no, up throw, up air. Kill, yeah, I'm also curious about like what the reasoning behind the battlefield uh, uh, challenge, uh, sorry, counterpick. And honestly, like with the way that he's, I think he just wants a place to at least escape or land against Tonic. Like because Tonic's just been holding this ground like really well. Like Wesa has like no has like no idea how to actually even like get past like Tonic. Like look at that, he's holding yeah. that center stage really well. He's not falling into like anything that Wesa's is going for. Yeah, it's absolutely been a struggle for Wesa to just try and keep center stage. Tonic has found their way in every single time. Uh, I think the battlefield pick may either be comfort or just one of the triplats for juggling situations as Robin can be pretty strong with that. However, they're just not even getting the opportunity to as Tonic is just going in off to a very solid lead, only 64% to their name, while Lisa is on their second stock. Tonic is rushing up the extra credit. There's the arc fire down smash, but it won't kill yet. The high recovery. Down smash, but it won't do it again. Down smash doesn't send out a very particularly great angle. Tries to two frame, but the down smash is not going to find it, and no longer has the Leaven Sword. Now I just want the time to get the Leaven Sword back or find an easy kill otherwise. Arc fire. Oh, play. nice parry. Nice parry. Arc fire there. Oh, oh, no. Buffered air dodge. Buffered air dodge will cause Tonic to lose their first stock. Now Wesa has a smaller mountain to climb, a little bit easier to deal with. Jumps into the splat bomb as they were running out of options with that down smash incoming. Nice neutral get up, it's not a situation, but not for long as up throw up air. Not quite gonna do it. So they will get down, try to up smash Tonic, but won't find it. Jump up arc fire, won't find its mark either. Tonic again just maneuvering around the projectiles. Won't maneuver around that one though as Arc Finder finds its mark. Yeah, Wesa is just finding no answers, like even in that whole library of hers. Absolutely, it's just been a struggle. Now Levinson coming back out as the fire book is out. Trading fair with fair, but that's not going to be a trade it wants to take as that's going to cause them to lose their second stock. Dark fire will interrupt that jab. Wesa up throw. Up, gets up throw up air by Tonic. Now, oh my god, four percent racked up 43 percent. Do you reverse? Not gonna find it, and yeah. then we'll throw it 116 percent on time. He's end it. Mark Thunder will not end the stock, definitely not from the opposite end of the stage. Just runs forward for a dash grab, won't find that either. And then, so oh, I really like the option to select that Wesa went for. He, oh, oh, oh. no, oh, good tech, flat bomb, neutral get up, but gets jabbed for it. I don't know. This is still a really s big lead for Tonic. Like, even though he's sitting at like 90%, he's still kind of like at those up throw, up air percentages. And Absolutely. tries to parry that jab, but instead he's gonna get wind jab for it. Okay, nice catching the landing. He's gonna pressure. Closer, tries to closer. catch a roll. Arc fire. Fair. No eleven though. No eleven. But this has gotten suddenly to a very close game. It is only a five percent difference about. And Wesa, with one strong back air at ledge, could easily end this or an up air juggle. 
Now throws Tonic off again. Elf Ender won't quite connect. Arkfire Legs trap down smash! And that's gonna do it. Wasa takes game two. Wasa did not get touched at all during that stock. That last stock, he took the second stock and it just didn't, the, just, just, just didn't get hit. They, uh, that was just phenomenal play. I mean, just, just, I don't know if they just figured out uh, Tonic's movement or what, but they just looked untouchable for that last stock, as you said. Just maneuvering their way around, racking up the percent like nobody's business. And oh, it appears we have some music counterpicking going on. I mean, honestly, with the way that Wiso was playing, like, he dev, like, again, he's playing the tactician. He's always got a strategy up his sleeve. He's gotten the data, he's analyzed the enemy. Now, we'll see if the enemy changes their tactics or will Wiso continue. Yo, to tactic change? Yo, the pair up, though? <laughs> the pair up. 1-1, one, one, game three. Off to a better start than the previous two games now. Up tilt. Nice usage. Double up air is gonna make that shield look a little small. Up throw up air. Tonic, correct a little percent. B reverse, Arc Thunder, nice stuff there. Nice parry on the back air. Into a jab, will rack up even more percent. Nice, roll away, still got a 70% lead, feeling very comfortable. Again, the Beal vs. Arc Thunder doing so much work. Now 150%, 15% racked up. That down oh smash, goodness. just outpacing the get of attack. And that will be Waysa nailing Tonic's first stock. While Tonic only has, is racked up 34% on Waysa. Now 44%, now 60% racked up on Waysa, but it's still a heavy lead for Waysa as a fair and air will extend a little bit more. They're gonna land on the ground, but get a punish with the nair. I don't know. Tonic is starting to get a bit antsy here. Like he's getting really frantic about like whatever Wesa just did. Like he's definitely like going calling for like these desperate measures here. Like he's going off stage. He's trying to really edge guard Wesa. He just wants to find a way to get rid of the stock. Oh, he does get detected, he needs? but oh, he misses but he the S smash. The S smash. It's so unfortunate. Just on the other side of it. Wanted definitely get the kill, but instead we'll get it through a solid up throw up air. Good stuff. Still, 73% extra credit. Jab will narrow that margin just a little bit. Back throw sends him off again. Arc fire. Oh, he off, misses thing. the ledge. Downer. Oh, oh ledge trump. Ledge That's trump. a regrab. Doesn't get it. But really good drip coming from Tonic. Arc Thunder snake oh my into god! an up air. That's some crazy movement. God, he he's thinking like he is up the throw, tactician. He's there. thinking one up step up ahead, three, even three steps ahead. Wesa is making a making a statement right here. No kidding. Good item uses will rack up some more damage and shield pressure. Up throw up air and air. Back air will rack up some percent and narrow the margins just a tad for for tonic. Low edge guard will not find its mark and Wesa will just be able to get up. Find some space oh. with the Nair. Nice parry on the second hit of Nair. Most people don't even know that that's going to hit them. Grab. Forward throw. Sending Wesa off again. Nice up air. We'll catch this. What attack! Okay, if yeah. Tonic had no options in order to punish that completely. Super low recovery and they make it back. This has to be an up throw. Uh, no, up he's out of the percentage range. He can't do up throw up air anymore. He has to try to get this kill with a, like a raw back air and edge guard or even a back throw off stage. Yeah, something needs to find his way. But Wesa, just racking up the percent, now got him at 100%. And with all that rage, it could be a random 11 aerial. Unfortunately, I don't know if they were able to check that or not, but they, if they could, they were not able to. And that's oh, that should oh, be no, it. But Arc Fire up smash. And it doesn't matter. With the JV2 stock coming in from Wesa, putting them up two games to one. Checkmate. Checkmate indeed. He Checkmate. definitely got his number. He's definitely got his number. He's about to put this in the in the uh, battle reports. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Tonic, I mean, they did lose that second game, but if they can find another way, maybe they swap to the hero, I don't know. They do also have a solid hero. I do uh, think Tonic might need to go back to the lab. Like, at this, like, I'm not exactly if it's the squid lab or he's going back in tie. He's going to take the time machine and go back to the hero. You know, it's, it's a little hard. Um, Wesa, it feels like, just found some options that Tonic was running into. Arc Thunder, Beerus Arc Thunder did a lot of work early on in that game. And then it felt like as soon as Tonic started getting behind, not necessarily the simple de desperation that we often see of like just raw smash attacks, but just charging into things that they weren't getting hit by before. Um, oh, we going to the lottery tonight, boys. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. You've seen them get big, you've seen them get poisoned. Uh, or small, I don't remember. He had a negative effect. He, he goes um, small, he loses 
He oh, loses okay. MP, he can lose health, he can take oh, damage I think over he time. Fell asleep. He can fall asleep. Oh, yeah. I think he can fall asleep. I mean, is there anything that asleep. this hero cannot do? He can do a whole lot, and he's already got a whole lot of a lead. Psych up now. Emperor oh, he got yeeted out of there. He hit. almost died. Holy cow. Low recovery, gonna get hit by the Wushu. Oh my god. Again, low recovery. Now gonna have to make a big comeback. Two up airs will help with that, but get it scouted out by a nice back air, and Wesa now suddenly on the back foot, arc fire, double uh, back air, will send him out, L Thunder won't find it, because a zoom will happen, tries to find it with an up air, but doesn't, instead finds it with a back air, more and more damage, arc fire ledge trap, thrown again, neutral get up, but it was so late that it was oh, yeah. and L Thunder will punish Tonic for opening the menu off stage, now an even game, Wesa has suddenly oh. a game back from the brink, nice roll in, will avoid the fully charged uh, Caprizzle, zoom in. Or... God, Waze is playing, oh. is playing, is playing like bounce doesn't even exist. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, th they got punished for it with that one Arc Thunder where they took 40, but since then they have just avoided it. Oh, okay, oh, okay. he didn't go for the Arc Fire just time. Oh, he oh, got no, snooze, but his Arc Fire hits. Is he gonna mash out? out? No. Okay, but he didn't get the crit. He no crit, so they live. Boom. Punished by a fair. Zoom off stage. Can he guess correctly? Oh, gets it, but not the timing. Uh, oh, he has no Levin, though. Mark. This is really scary. He's he's, he's fading back. He did, oh, my God. Nice Levin fair. Or not Levin fair. Bronze fair. Arc fire ledge trap. Arc fire again. They roll in into Thor. Oh, uh, that should be it. Up yep. throw, psych up. Salute the sun. <laughs> Goodbye. 136%, 36% racked up, however. Just a random Levin back air or uh, something near the ledge will certainly kill. Oh, tries for it. Turn around, down, oh, he was trying to read a roll or something yeah. like that. Some, either reading a roll or didn't mean to turn around with that. Um, oh, tries the tomahawk there, but doesn't do it quite fast enough. Oh, almost gets that read with the F smash. Now, oh, no wait a minute. Sword. Now wait, it's starting to look like this is oomph. Wait, he had oomph the whole time. He has, still has no double Excel jump. Excel Rattle is so scary. No MP, no though. Mana. Up air. Not going to find anything. He tries to keep the dash bag. Back throw. Back throw. Oh, he's oh. chasing him. Nice DI out. It. Yep. And then a random fair will do it. But wesa has got 113%. There is so much that will kill this Robin right now. Oh, oh wait, he, how did he how hovered did... around the snooze? I have no idea how wait. they managed to avoid the hitbox. But they did. And now they're going to get a, a double arc fire into bronze back air. Wait, how did he fall asleep, though? Uh, he, the hitbox, I believe it hovers oh my God. down a little bit. And he just Accelerado, he has Accelerado. This is pretty scary. Oh, he called out the right. jump. Fire out of no, no arc fires though. And the bounce is up. He has to play just very carefully. He so can't scary. throw out a single projectile at all. He has to play these anti-air games with 11. The and he gets smash? Oh my God. And Wesa will take it 3-1 over Tonic. <laughs> my goodness, what a sell. Holy Holy, what a back and forth. Even though it was 3-1, God, I'll be darned if anyone expected that to not go to game five. Instead, we will be seeing Waysa moving on to face Natron in the Loser's Finals. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's only 10 o'clock. Yeah, because we had more people calling and with zero doubles matches, which makes me sad. Hey, Bring we had doubles. to do what we had to do. We Hashtag can't.